Okay, everybody, welcome. This is my first, um, well, I don't know if I can call this a tutorial. It's more like, hey, let's explore um, Avid 2019 together and get some first impressions on it. Uh, I, <clears throat> I uh, against my better judgment, I did upgrade to 2019 um, in the middle of a large project that I'm working on. Um, it's kind of a dumb move, um, but whatever, I'm here, it's done. So, first off, the first thing you notice is where is my project window, right? Here's a bin, here's a couple bins that you can see, right? If I close that one, well, here's more clips. Um, but you're like, well, where's my, where's my project with all my folders? Well, every single bin has a side panel that you can drag out. And it's just right there. And you're like, oh, okay. If you map it to a quick key, which I already did, you can just push it in and out. So there's all your um, folders. Kind of cool, kind of not. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, so for example, here's you know a bin that's open. Well, let's open a footage bin. Every time you open a new bin, it's always going to kind of it's not going to be floating when you open your first bin. Uh, you can float it by just dragging it like that. Um, but so let's say we're floating and then we're over here somewhere and you're like, oh, well, you can also open up your project here, as you can see. So unlike the previous version, you can have access to all your folders from every um, bin. Do I like it? I don't know. Um, Another interesting thing is these tabs on the side. Okay, so you can, in fact, drag things to those tabs, right? So there we go, a couple bins in these tabs. So I do like that you can kind of work up and down now in these, I think. Still just, you know, still just getting used to it, I guess. Um, this, this here is, this is a weird, thing okay because this is technically your project so if you go to close this that says leave the application right um and it always stays behind which is also kind of you know weird so it's like i it's never in the front but what it is more than anything is your container okay so so you can make it small and just have your different um you know I can't tell if I, I actually like this or not. Um, your different views, right? So I think similar to Adobe, I think. You can hide those by uh, hide workspace bar, because that's a workspace bar, right? And then you pull it out, hide it and show it. But yes, this is like your, here, I'll just show you. Uh, you can drag and drop stuff in there. Ah, uh, see? exciting really really exciting and then composer window let's just drop that in here somewhere too mm, maybe I can't let's see let's close that bin yeah see and then you have your little stuff over here and whatever I don't know I can't tell you if I like it or not honestly uh, but just kind of you know playing around with it. I'll tell you one thing that I really don't like. Um, okay, so I did make a workspace. So first thing you'll want to do is just make a workspace that you like um, because you're going to get lost in here and it's nice to be able to just jump back to um, your workspace. I don't like that. Okay, so in this workspace, I, do, I did put my effects palette down here so you can have an actual bin for your effects palette. What you don't have... Um, like the previous version is your settings just always at the top. Um, but a quick key for that is command shift, um, plus I think. Yeah. And then you have your settings here. Uh, one really annoying thing I would say, um, first, just first thing I noticed is that the, uh, let's see, users in my, um, settings where are they 
in my interface settings, I only have two options for how to make it look dark and light. There's no like in between like there was on the previous version, right? So it's like dark, there's dark, if you want it to look like Premiere or light, um, if you want it to look like a shitty version of the previous um, Avid. It's okay. All right. Whatever. So those are those are your settings. They're all just they're not out in the open like they used to be. Oh, did I did I accidentally looks like I accidentally made it dark. Whatever. Yeah. I did. Sorry guys. Again, like I said, I'm no pro yet in this. I'm just simply you know, learning it all. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, that's mostly it. These are um, now it's all kind of locked together. Um, I, I do feel like, okay, so I do feel like, what, did I close a project? I don't, I don't, I don't even know what I did. I feel like I just closed a project. Jeez. Windows, workspace. Did I switch my user? See, guys, here's what I'm talking about. I have no freaking clue. All right, let's see if my settings project. Ah, I did. I accidentally scrolled up on my user profile. There we go. Well, great tutorial. Yay, Avid. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just show you, going back to my... These are all locked now, uh, kind of gooey or whatever you call them, not free floating. You can make them free floating by just tools, windows, uh, float all panels or float active panel or whatever you want there. Um, that's that's fine. I do I do like these tabs. I'm still kind of learning them, right? So if I bring in my audio mixer, I can either tell it to be there, or if I hold option, I can put it on a tab, okay? So, let's try option, yeah, see? So there's audio mixer, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that, I don't think. So instead, I would just probably, um, let's see here. I'd probably just make it like, like that. Bring it over, there. Audio mixer. So, if you have a cut open, again, the bins open always in here. I'll probably get used to it and I'll probably grow to love it, but right now, right now, I don't. I just don't. I liked having my floating bins just all over the place. And they'd always, you know, each bin that you were selected in would be in the front. I liked that. Yeah. So, here we go. Hmm. Okay. Well, those are, that's just the first, like, hello to Avid 2019. Um, you know, maybe I like it. Maybe I don't. Maybe it's something that'll grow on me. Or maybe I just screwed myself. I don't know. I mean, it still seems cool. It seems, I don't know. It just doesn't, it's, something about it that I'm not sure about yet. Maybe it's the look. It's like it's like a new home or something, you know. It's just always new at first and doesn't feel like home. This Avid does not feel like home. But maybe it will become home one day. And I'll call it home and and I'll love it. And I'll raise kids here and I'll just it'll be great. Okay. Thanks guys for watching this really boring and long, you know, introduction to 20, 2019. It's not really a tutorial. It's just like, hey, look, here it is. I can do a tutorial later when I learn more and I don't look like an idiot. <laughs>